What is up everybody, Kyle Blaine here, and I wanted to give you a quick tip on how you can be more efficient with your Audacity FX and recording and all that jazz. Uh, so if you're doing Let's Plays, most likely you're using the same effects over and over and over again on new files all the time. So what I've discovered is this thing called Chains in Audacity that allows you to save a set of effects that you always run, and it will do all of them in one big batch. So you don't have to run an effect, wait on it to process, hit OK, choose another effect, wait on that to process, hit OK, and then keep going through that process and having to go back to it and, and keep doing new effects. This will do all of the effects in one swoop and it'll save your file for you. So here's our sample audio that we're going to be working with today. What is up, everybody? This is Kyle Blaine and we're about to play a game. OK, so um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to File edit chains now here you'll see I already have my let's play mic uh, set up it came defaulted with an mp3 conversion just ignore that one um, but you can click add down at the bottom left and we're gonna call it dermo demo demo chain um, and then what you're gonna do is over here on this right side you're gonna be hitting insert and you're gonna be filling in all of the effects you want to do um, in the order that you want them done on this side so we're gonna hit insert and the first one I do is uh, noise removal. So you double click on noise removal, it adds it up here, and then you'll hit OK. Now, there's gonna be more to the noise removal step um, a little bit later. For now though, that's all you have to do. Uh, then you're gonna click insert and go to the next one, which uh, I think for me is compressor. Uh, you can, after you double click on it, you can go up to edit parameters, make sure that everything's set up the way you want it, hit OK, hit OK. Uh, it will automatically use, at least based on my testing, it will automatically use the most recently used settings for those effects. So most likely they're set to what you need them set to. Uh, then we'll do insert and this time we'll do normalize and hit OK. And then I'm going to do insert. The last one, the last effect I do is bass and treble. Hit OK. And then finally, now we're done with the effects that I use personally. And we're going to go insert, export wave. And you can do export mp3 if you use mp3 or whatever you use. Um, so we're going to hit OK. So now that what this is going to do is it's going to do the noise removal process, which remember, we're going to talk more about in a second. Then we're going to it's going to compress the audio. It's going to normalize the audio. It's going to boost the bass and the treble treble. And then it's going to export the wave into a location either based on where the um, original file was from. So if you like recorded in DX Tori and then opened that audio file in Audacity, it will save it into a folder within that folder called cleaned, um, which is very nice. It sections it off so you know which one is the the newly exported audio. If it's if you record it directly into Audacity, I don't know how it chooses what folder, but it will tell you what folder it exports to, and we'll see that here in just a second. So we're done. The the chain has been created. So we're gonna hit OK, and it has been saved. Now remember, I told you um, there's one extra step to do for the normalize. Now the wiki for Audacity um, has a thing saying that there's a fast way to do this. It did not work for me. So that's why I'm telling you how to do it this way. So we're gonna select our um, our noise um, profile that we wanna use uh, for the noise removal. That sounds, uh, there was a little click there at the end. So let me bring that in just a hair. And, and a little bit more, sorry. Um, all right, we're just gonna do that for good measure. Um, so anyways, what we're gonna do now is we'll go up to effect noise removal and click get noise profile just like you would normally do when you're doing uh, noise removal it has now retrieved the noise profile for this audio so now you're going to double click and select all of it again go to file apply chain you'll select the chain that you want to use and then you'll click add to current pro or apply to current project you could do apply to files if you wanted to use it on a bunch of files um, but i haven't actually used that yet but i'm assuming it works basically the same so we're going to do apply to current project Great. So now it tells me, as you can see, the audio's changed. It says exported to D capture this war of mine day. So it ran it on the most recent file. It looks like uh, it, uh, the most recent file that I had had opened in audacity prior to this. So let me go to that folder real quick, just so I can show you oh, it's on the other monitor. Let me bring that over and 27 and 30. And so as you see in here, we have a cleaned file or folder. And it did multiple, I'm not sure why, maybe there was already one in there. And so here's our newly created file right here. Really, really cool stuff. And then obviously we can take a listen. What is up everybody? This is Kyle Blaine and we're about to play a game. So there you go. Um, it did all of our effects. It did all of our noise removal and fancy stuff like that. And then it saves the file for you. 
Now, right there, it obviously only took about two seconds, but when you're dealing with a longer 15, 20, 30, 45 minute file, audio file, you just apply the chain and then it does its thing for five, 10 minutes. And then you come back and it's all done for you. It's brilliant. I hope you guys enjoy using this as much as I have. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.